Research has concluded that women find men's forearms the most attractive body part out there, but they've also concluded that if your arms and your forearms are kind of soft and doughy, you're not as attractive as a dude that's got lean, sexy arms with the veins running wild and rampant like spawning salmon up a stream. And so today, my goal is spawning salmon up a stream veins for you. I'm going to go over some of my tips, some of my tricks, some are bro science, some are actual science, but the bottom line is that by the end of this video, you're veins are gonna pop. Plus, make sure to stick around to the end of the video where I'm gonna go over and show you one of my favorite bicep supersets in order to get those buys and those veins to pop. Tip number one in order to have leaner, sexier, more muscular looking arms is to shave them, right? You gotta remove the hair. And this is an old school bodybuilding trick. The reason why they shave their entire body is because the hair is actually gonna cover and make you look a little bit softer. But by removing it, it's actually gonna make your arms look more vascular. And when your veins start to heat up and do some of the things that we talk about later, they're going to have a better chance of being more visible, making your arms look sexier. Tip number two is to reduce the amount of subcutaneous water that you're holding on your body, right? We've talked about this in relation to a chiseled, defined face before, right? If you're holding a bunch of water, chances are you're going to hold some in your face. Your face is going to be a little bit more full and look a little bit rounder. But the same thing happens with your arms and your leanness and vascularity. If you are retaining a bunch of water, you're not going to be as lean. You're also not going to be able to see the veins as well as if you reduce it. Now, the question is, how do you reduce subcutaneous water? Number one is make sure you are properly hydrated. One gallon of water a day. Proper hydration not only is going to help you not retain water, it's also going to make your veins pop more, which is actually the third tip. And the reason is because of blood volume. If you are dehydrated, your veins are not going to be as pronounced because you're not going to have the blood volume in terms of fluid volume running through your body. But by making sure that you drink enough water, you're going to give your body what it needs in order to have more blood circulating and running through those big, sexy veins, making them show. The next tip in order to have those veins and those arms look super sexy is to reduce your body fat, all right? You got to be lean in order to get those veins to show, right? Because we typically will have a thin layer of fat in between our skin and where those veins are kind of hanging out. The thinner that layer of fat, the more the veins are going to be pronounced and the leaner your arms will become. Number one, the number one thing you can do to have lean, sexy, vascular, muscular looking arms is to reduce your body fat. Now, in terms of how to do that, it's simple, right? Calories in, versus calories out. You gotta make sure you're burning more than you're consuming. But in terms of what diet is best, once again, it's about balance, in my opinion. Going extreme one way or the other isn't good, right? It's not healthy, it's also not sustainable. You also need to eat carbohydrates if you want your muscles to get pumped and your veins to be popping. Because if you've ever tried going low carb or no carb, you go to the gym, you work out, you're like, why are my, why are my muscles not getting swollen? Why are my veins like vanishing? It's because it's the carbohydrates that actually provide glucose and glycogen shuttled to your muscles into your bloodstream that's gonna make them swell up, get big, fat, and sloppy. The healthier and cleaner you can eat, guys, the better. But in my opinion, it's not just about reducing the amount of calories you're consuming. For me, it's always been about burning calories, cardio. I do cardio every single day, which is the next trick in order to get your veins to show better. The cardio is going to get the circulation rocking and rolling and the blood circulating. Guys, if you're not doing cardio, not only are your veins not going to show as good as they could, you're not going to be as healthy because cardiovascular exercise does more than just keep the love handles and man boobs away. It's good for your heart and your lungs. Now, in terms of which cardio method is best for losing body fat? Unfortunately, there is no one size fits all solution. It's whichever cardio you will do consistently. If you can find something you enjoy doing, that's the one that's the best. For me, I love doing two things, right? I love going out for a jog. I'll do that about three days a week and then four days a week, I will actually use my cross rope. Cross rope, they are today's video sponsor. I've talked about them a bunch of times before and I love this product. Just to give you a quick refresher, cross rope is a jump rope exercise experience. It's going to have the two handles. It's going to come with different weighted ropes. But recently, cross rope has actually upped the game in terms of a connected jump rope experience. It is a Bluetooth connected jump rope called AMP. There's been a huge surge in basically like connected fitness experiences, right? And the whole idea and the reason why it's so valuable is that unlike just following something, it's actually going to target it to you and your level. And that's the thing that I love so much about the new cross rope AMP program. AMP gives you a customized full body workout based on your experience and level. And that's the thing that I love so much about it. I started 
using this about a month ago when it first came out, right? And almost instantly, I noticed a huge difference because instead of me just like following along and like kind of half-assing it, right? Now, you're going to get real-time feedback on you and the way that you're actually jumping. And that's the beautiful thing about this new interactive experience. A few reasons why I love Crossrope so much is, number one, it's portable, right? You can do it literally anywhere. It doesn't matter, right? The other thing I love about it is the cost. It is a fraction of the cost of other interactive fitness gear out there on the market. The other thing that I love so much about it is that it's easy, right? There's nothing complicated about it. It's jumping rope and fun. Guys, that's the other thing about this workout. It's fun. It's the most fun I've ever had exercising, if I'm being honest. Guys, if you're ready to finally get in the best shape of your life, look the best you ever have, and feel amazing, I want you to hit that special link down below, crossrope.com slash alphaM22. You got to go through our special link. Also, use the code alphaM to get 10% off your purchase. Guys, hit the link down below. Do not wait. Now is the time. Do not neglect your fitness any longer. That's crossrope.com slash alpha M22. Use the code alpha M to get 10% off of AMP. And guys, quick little side note, weighted jump roping is literally one of the best things that you can do to work your arms and get the blood pumping and circulating. It not only is an incredible cardiovascular exercise, it's also amazing for what it does to your arms and the vascularity. Guys, do not wait. Now is the time. Hit the link. AMP is the best. The next trick to have bigger, sexier, leaner, more vascular arms is to work out, right? Lift weights. Progressive overload is the name of the game. Something else that is the name of the game is consistency. Guys, if you want your arms to look amazing, you got to make sure you are working them on a regular basis. There is no one-size-fits-all workout routine. There is no one exercise that is better than the other. It's really about whatever you can do in order to get in there and be consistent and lift weights. But that being said, one of the things that I do that in my opinion is beneficial is really getting an incredible pump, right? They call it chasing the pump. It's a workout method where you are going to be using a lighter weight, doing more controlled repetitions, and really focusing on filling the muscle with blood and engorging the veins to the max. So now let me actually show you one of my favorite exercises for really getting an incredible pump, all right? I'm only using 15 pound dumbbells. You need to use a weight that you can really control and get a high amount of repetitions, all right? What I'll do is when I'm ready, right, I'll stand there and then right here, one, notice, my elbows are tucked in to my body. I'm not rotating, all right? It's all about keeping the contraction on the muscle, right? As you rotate your elbow, you're actually making it easier, right? Keeping it here and here, right here. One, two, nice squeeze at the top with a pause. Rotation, right there. You're gonna do about 10 repetitions here. Up, pause, squeeze and down, nice and controlled. All right, this gets really hard really fast. Ah, all right, once you get 10 repetitions, then what you're going to do, arms are still pinned at your side, but then you're gonna just lift them up, right? It's kind of like a hammer curl, but instead of going out here, you're really keeping it a little bit more natural and neutral, right here, one, two. Ooh, oh shit, <laughs> these are burned already. All right, you're gonna try and get 10 repetitions, Nice and slow with a pause. And when you're done with those 10, then you're gonna bang out another 10. A little bit faster, boom, right there. Little bounce in the knee, little bit of cheating, controlled cheating, right there. Getting 10 just to finish it off. And when you're done, set them down woo, and rest for about a minute. And then you're gonna do it again three times. Telling you, your arms are gonna be pumped, gorged with blood, and your veins are gonna be spidering like wild salmon spawning up a stream. Now, last thing I wanna talk about real quick is supplementation. There are certain supplements that I have noticed a huge difference. Number one is L-arginine. I've talked about L-arginine, basically it's an amino acid, it's natural, you take it, your body converts it to nitric oxide. Nitric oxide is a vasodilator, right? It's gonna go in and make the blood vessels or your veins relax. It also is gonna make Big Al big strong and rock solid the same thing and tips that apply to making him huge sexy strong same thing applies to your arms being vascular so anything that increases your nitric oxide including l-citrulline great supplements that are natural that are healthy that not only will make your pumps and your vascularity insane it'll also make big al mas grande and great again